January 2024 will be remembered, in my opinion, as the time when Dog with Hat was crowned as the prince of meme coins for the 2024 bull run. Now, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you precisely what I mean by that. Why is that super significant? And that in the last video, I've compared actually Bonk, okay, Bonk coin to Shiba Inu. But a little bit of a preview for this video. I think the situation is slightly different. I think Bonk is a little bit more like Dogecoin and dog with hat could be the one which is similar to shiba inu in this video i'm gonna explain exactly why do i say that what exactly do i mean and how i expect bonk and whiff to continue in the remainder of this bull run all right but first of all the most important thing guys i need to share with you about january 8 okay 2024 from this time up until today as i'm recording the video this is when whiff was crowned in my opinion as the prince and i'll explain so what happened in january 8 okay is that whiff and Bonk, okay, both of them were in a pretty, pretty long consolidation downtrend, okay, that they corrected quite significantly, okay, so with corrected like 80%, right, from like the 30 centish area all the way to 7 to 8, and then it finally, finally broke it, okay. Bonk had somewhat of a similar situation, it was even correcting for slightly longer from the middle of December, just like it uh, got listed on Coinbase. And you see it had a major downtrend and then it also broke it exactly. It was actually in the same hour, okay? I made a trade for both of them, Bonk and Whiff. And, <clears throat> and both of them actually, and both of them broke off their trend lines exactly at the same time in Monday of January 8th, okay? Now, what happened since and why Whiff was crowned as a new prince? And then we're gonna correlate to what happened also in the past with Dogecoin and Shiba. But first we'll see what happened with Bonk and Whiff, okay? So I made my trade here, right? So I entered here at like a, a 10, right? 11 region for Bonk. And we had a very kind of nice pump, right? From uh, the bottom here. Uh, the pump was like almost a 2x, okay, like 80%, okay, but we were stuck here at this Fibonacci level over here, okay, and Bonk was unable to breach this 17 region, okay, and so far it actually corrected quite significantly, okay, since the time I entered uh, the trade, okay, at 11, but what happened with Whiff, okay, Whiff was pretty different, okay, so here was the situation with Whiff, okay? It broke a trend line and it actually tested it again as support a day later, okay? And I entered also here at 11, pretty similar. It was 11 for me at Bonk and 11 at Whiff. But what is the current price of Whiff? It's 36 cents, okay? It's still from the entry here. It's just a little over a 3X and to the very top, it was like even like a 4X or something like that. While Bonk, is actually back to around the same price where I entered the trade, okay? Now, this is very significant. This is very, very different, okay, from what was happening happening up until now. And what I mean is every single time Bonk was pumping like crazy, many other first Solana coins or other meme coins were also pumping insanely. But this time, this time they both pumped. Bonk and with pumped, okay? Even Bonk, 80% move is very nice. It was also a pump, but with outperformed really significantly and now again bonk is back to the same price so now i want to show you what made me think that this is very very similar to what shiba inu was doing okay so the comparison we're making is that bonk okay is going to be like dogecoin and with is going to be like shiba but for that we will have to go to dogecoin and shiba inu and to see what they were doing in 2020 and 2021 bull run all right so we're going to start from dogecoin okay which is again the equivalent to bonk and then we're going to explain the similarity all right so for both of Dogecoin and Shiba, okay, they were quite silent kind of in the end of 2020, okay, and then the major bull run was starting in the beginning of 2021, okay, for Shiba and Doge and the rest of crypto, okay. So look at the dates, okay, the dates are really, really important over here, okay. So as you can see, Dogecoin started breaking significant levels at the very late 2020, okay, late December 2020, and most importantly here in the beginning of January. 2021 okay this is what dogecoin was doing here you see like the move it already made was like a 4x just from here from october which is also interesting because also bonk started making its move from also october 2023 okay and it made a significant move right up until november 
and then it continued but we're gonna be back to bonk just in a moment okay so this is what dogecoin did okay up until the beginning of january it already had like a four or five x pretty significant move and i just a little another caveat is that remember dogecoin here at this point was a lot larger than bonk over here so this is why bonk up until here made a really significant move of like uh, more than a 10x okay and dogecoin only did like a uh, four or five x okay so now let's go back to shiba inu so by the beginning of january dogecoin already had a real really significant move four to five x what did shiba inu do until the beginning of january pretty much nothing okay there was a little bit of a move but you know it was like a maybe a 2x and just look at the volume okay like the volume was like three dollars like nobody was trained in shiba at all there was a little bit of a somewhat of a move here but you see the volume was still like 16 dollars like you know almost 43 dollars you know almost nobody really traded here but then in the beginning of february end of january this is when shiba inu awakened okay so like from 13 dollars 66 dollars volume again no volume really in 24 hours it went all the way to 8 million and 6 million volume and like all of that move was like more than 100x okay this could remind you of the very beginning of whiff like on coin gecko it actually doesn't show it right but whiff just all that way from here just was going up and up and up similarly to shiba inu and it did like a 200x in a very short amount of time again similar to here all right now let's compare what shiba inu and dogecoin were doing right to more recently bonk and dog with hat okay so dog with hat okay uh it started making its significant move really in december okay in the month of december and in october it didn't even exist yet okay it was launched in november so bonk okay was in this major downtrend for all of this time similarly to dogecoin in 2020 and then it entered the bull run and you see like most of the significant move for uh, bonk was actually up until november and then in december it had another major surge and then in that second surge okay similarly to dogecoin okay that was surge number one and then this was surge number two okay for dogecoin okay in this second surge this is when shiba inu joined the party okay at the beginning of february so similarly over here okay bonk had the first surge in november and then in december was the second surge and this is when whiff was parting okay and was kind of starting to show like it is the prince now now january this is when whiff was crowned as the prince like i'm saying okay and this is what i'm gonna correlate now back to dogecoin and shiba inu okay so dogecoin okay made this second major surge that dogecoin had had okay in the beginning of february more or less now look at dogecoin okay since the beginning of february until the beginning of april okay for two months it didn't move that much like it had somewhat of moves here but see basically for two months it didn't move but what happened with shiba inu between the beginning of february to the beginning of april okay this is what happened with shiba inu okay so it made it made it's it made its major move by the beginning of february but then you see it already made new highs by mid-march okay similarly to what with recently had okay it made new highs compared to december okay so like okay so during the time that bonk wasn't that impressive so this was the move of bonk okay let me move it slightly upwards right so this was the move for bonk now in january okay it went from from like 10 you know to 17 16 it was pretty decent it's also pretty similar to what dogecoin was doing kind of here okay it still had a um, pretty nice moves you know like from four cents back to five or six cents okay but shiba inu made new highs which dogecoin was unable to do here between february to april 2021 so bonk didn't break new highs and you know it's entering a new downtrend so in the foreseeable future it doesn't look like it's gonna uh, break this highs in the you know very next month or so okay uh, as if you saw my last video i'm still gonna expect bonk to be the new king of meme coins for this bull run and still break this all-time high but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen within the next month with already made a new high okay it already has a new high compared to december 2023 and then guys once we had that last third surge okay for dogecoin and shiba inu this is when they really both really really exploded this was the most most significant move okay so for the next major surge okay in crypto i'm gonna be expecting both bonk and both whiff 
to pump, okay? But possibly, guys, possibly dog with hat could be actually the particular coin that actually has the most significant move from its low, right from when it launched, similarly to Shiba Inu, all the way to the top of the bull run. So now when it comes to the technical analysis, right, for the, let's say, short to midterm, as you can see, Bonk is already in a downtrend, and like many other significant coins, like even Bitcoin looks like it's starting in mini bear trend right over here. But with is still going very strong. Now, look, again, normally crypto is super correlated. So if crypto is going to correct significantly, I'm going to expect with to correct as well. And the major trend line that I'm watching right now is this white one, okay, uptrend, right, that goes all the way back to the very beginning of January. And as you can see, it held support multiple times. And before that, it was actually resistance, right? So when with broke it as resistance, it just surged like it did like over here, right, in one day, it did like uh, most of its move really, like almost a 2x, right, from uh, 12 cents all the way to like 30 cents, okay, it happened super quickly here in January 11th. So, if the rest of crypto is gonna keep correcting, I'm gonna expect WIF to also break this trend line once again, and then we'll see where it's gonna find support. One option is that it will actually backtest this trend line from here, and maybe it will not even drop from this region. But you know, it can continue actually all the way to February, right? So the prices in February could be like 24 cents or something like that. But anyway, it can correct somewhere over here, or it can also correct to somewhat of lower prices. Now, for me personally, it doesn't matter at all where this width eventually correct. The main point is that WIF will relax with the rest of crypto. But then guys, in my personal opinion, okay, look, I don't expect it to be exactly the same like it was the last bull run. And I don't even know if that third surge is really going to be like two months from now, right? Similarly to what happened with Dogecoin and Chiba. Maybe it will happen like half a year from now or four, four months from now or something like that. But the bottom line, guys, is that it still has been exceptionally similar to Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, I mean in Bonk and Dog with Half. They were exceptionally similar to the two main meme coins of 2021. This is why I think Bonk and Whiff are the two main meme coins for this bull run. And this is why, in my opinion, both of them are still waiting for that last, or maybe not last, but like the most significant surge that is still waiting for us. And this is the third surge, okay? This is when Dogecoin in 2021 went from 5 cents all the way to its all-time high, really, to 70-something cents. And, and again, Dogecoin was a really large coin already. It was like in the top 20 or top 15 anyway by then, okay? And it made all its way to 70-something cents. Shiba Inu, guys, during this time, actually made like a 100x, okay? So, to be honest, I don't expect WIF to uh, outperform Bonk by that much, right? Because the current market cap of WIF is 362 million and Bonk is 700 million. So in a way, I think the market is a lot smarter these days than it was in 2021. So I think in this third surge bottom line is that Shiba Inu outperformed Dogecoin by absolutely insane numbers. Okay, so I don't expect it to happen as significantly with WIF and Bonk this time, but probably especially if WIF is somewhat overbought, right? Like Bonk, for example, like I discussed in my last video, I think it can still range here, okay? So from the exact current prices, okay, if we're entering a new correction in crypto, uh, again, uh, and this is not financial advice, uh, I don't know the future, but I'm just gonna say because WIF pumped so much, I'm gonna be expecting WIF to correct more from this exact price uh, than Bonk, okay? From their exact prices as they are right now, okay? So of course, if WIF corrects more, uh, the ratio between the market caps of Bonk and WIF are gonna get lower, you know, right now they're the closest they've ever been. But the bottom line, guys, that once this third surge is coming, okay, in my opinion, these two, for me personally, there are no-brainers, Bonk and WIF, both, okay? And likely, again, similarly to what Shiba Inu did here, likely WIF is gonna outperform in that particular surge. Now, of course, we could have multiple surge surges, okay? But at least based on what we've had in the past with uh, like really big peaks for meme coins, okay? Based on what we've had in the past, I'm gonna be expecting the next surge to be really significant, especially, all right, if we are correct in thinking that we could be having somewhat of a correction for the next few months for the overall crypto, 
market cap okay so if really bitcoin is gonna head back to like the 30 case okay rest assured that with and all the rest of crypto is gonna correct really significantly but again this is gonna be fantastic because we're gonna have a new opportunity okay a better entry than the current prices and then in my opinion once bitcoin is gonna head back much higher and if you've seen my other videos in, in my personal opinion in the next significant surge by bitcoin i think it actually gonna start to like fight with the all-time highs and rest assured if bitcoin is fighting with its all-time highs with bonk and all the rest of crypto altcoins are gonna absolutely explode and in my opinion they're gonna have a much much more significant altcoin season than what they already had all right so bottom line guys this is a little bit of a shorter video than normal i'm expecting both the king of meme coins in my opinion for 2024 and the prince of meme coins um in 2024 i think both of them will do exceptionally well and i think that next surge is really gonna be for both bonk and with really really the time when a lot of millionaires and a lot of new money is gonna be made so guys thank you very much for being here once again i was air7 crypto channel if you found value in this video please like the video and if you found it valuable and you'd like to see more videos you're very welcome to subscribe so thank you very much once again have a fantastic week and a fantastic weekend ahead and cheers as always